women over 30 that are still unmarried, that are still out there dating, that are still out there clubbing, bar hopping, don't have a husband or family to go home to, unmarried women over 30 are damaged goods. And I'm about to tell you why. And I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this coaching video, especially from a lot of women who surprisingly are going to be an exact fit for this demographic. They're gonna be unmarried, over 30, still single, and they're gonna hate my comments because they cannot hang on to a man. There's a reason why these girls are over 30 and they're still unmarried. They still haven't found a husband. They don't have a family. And the reason why is because no guy was dumb enough to put a ring on her finger in her 20s, okay? This is when a woman is at her physical attractiveness peak. A woman in her 20s uh, physically is the most attractive she's ever going to be in her lifetime. And you would think if you are a girl and you know that you've got this one shot in your lifetime to nail down the highest value male that you possibly can and settle down with a family like this is your time to shine in your you know in your late teens early 20s this is your time to lock down that high value guy before you lose that opportunity and you postpone that to say to you know focus on your career your hobbies or just kind of give men the finger while you go do what you want to do thinking that you know you're entitled to have that same high value male waiting for you uh, once you're done doing all this stuff you know in your 30s it doesn't work that way okay it doesn't work that way and whenever I meet women who are over 30 <clears throat> that are still unmarried don't have any kids they tend to have issues okay and again there is a reason why no guy Put a ring on her finger while she was at the peak of her physical attractiveness in her 20s there is a reason why because let me tell you and you can look around your own social circle for proof if you had any hot girls in your social circle that were hot cool i mean she didn't even have to be like that hot she could have just been quasi cute right she could be a six she could be kind of cute kind of pudgy even those girls got married off why did they get married off why did some guy come along and put a ring on their finger and not this like hotter girl the reason why is because even for that six who's kind of cute kind of pudgy that girl <clears throat> was cool she was feminine she knew how to respect her man she knew when to shut her mouth a lot of these ladies these days they don't know when to shut up right they don't know when to cut it when to stop being disrespectful so a lot of these girls who get married off in their 20s they tend to be cool girls. They don't even have to be that hot. They're just cool girls. And a guy came along and he was like, hey, she's cute. Yeah, she's a few pounds overweight, but that's okay with me. She was a cool girl and I could see myself hanging with this chick. I could see myself spending the rest of my life with this girl. I could see this girl becoming the mother of my children. And the guy went ahead and bought an engagement ring, got down on one knee and proposed. One thing you'll find if you are out there as much as I am is women you meet that are over 30 that are still single never been able to hang on to a man couldn't get a man to put a ring on her finger these women tend to be damaged goods especially okay especially if the girl's hot because you'll see a lot of girls out there that are in their 30s even their 40s still very very attractive looking and a few even in their 50s believe it or not i've seen a few 50 year old women that they're still pretty attractive right never been married never had a family and you might be wondering like how could no guy have wanted to put a ring on this girl's finger okay and i'm not saying she had she's never had that opportunity okay i'm not saying that uh you know no guy has come along and proposed to her a lot of these women just pass these guys up because as you know women are hypergamous so they're constantly looking for the bigger better deal they constantly think they can do better and better and better so they pass up all these opportunities in their 20s thinking a better opportunity will come along and then one day they wake up and all of a sudden they're 30 and those opportunities are gone okay and the only guys willing to you know marry them at this point are low value males just lower tier males that 
they wouldn't even look at twice in their 20s and they're not willing to settle for these guys. So they stay single instead because they missed their boat. And now that they're in their 30s, 40s, and 50s, they're still out there at the venues, they're still out there at the bars and clubs trying to compete with the new generation of young hot girls in their late teens, early 20s. And these women in these venues just look ridiculous, okay? You just look ridiculous because the target demographic of a lot of these bars and venues, a lot of these hip spots, okay, especially in major cities uh, like Los Angeles, for example, where I am, you'll notice the main target demographic are younger women in their late teens, early 20s, and older men in their 30s, 40s, 50s. That is the prime demographic. You don't really see younger men in these venues. You don't see, like, if you see 18, 19 year old girls there, you're not really gonna see 18, 19 year old men. They're not gonna be able to compete with older guys with more money, more life experience, more social status. There's just no way an 18 year old kid can compete with a 35 year old or 45 year old or 55 year old uh, who has his shit together. It's just the way it is. By the way, I'm getting over a fever. So right now I've got like close to a 100 degree fever this is the second time this year I got sick, by the way, which is odd. I normally don't get sick, but I got sick. One of the girls that I'm seeing right now had a cold and she warned me about it and she goes, oh, it's just starting to come on. It should be fine. And of course I ended up getting sick. She's like, I know you have to run your business. Oh my gosh, I feel horrible. So she's taking care of me right now and it's kind of nice actually. So for all you people who are like, oh, you just, you just date bitches. That's why, you know, you do these coaching videos, these red pill videos. It's like, no, I... I, I don't date bitches and I don't teach my students to date bitches. I teach my students to go after high quality, high value women. Girls who are cool, like the girl I'm talking about right now. It's a very cool girl. And just because I've been able to find a few unicorns out there, that does not disqualify the overwhelming majority of women out there. But if I could go out and do game with a 100 degree fever, uh, I could bang out coaching videos. It's not a big deal. Anyway. So understand, women over 30 that you meet out there, 99% of the time, there's gonna be a reason why these women are still sitting on the shelf and nobody has bothered to purchase them, okay? There's gonna be a reason for that, okay? Just like if you go to your local Target or Walmart, there's a clearance rack, okay? You look in the clearance rack, you'll see items on the shelf where you'll be like, man, this item was like, a hundred bucks just a couple of months ago. Now it's only $5. Why? And then you'll be tempted. You'll be like, should I buy this thing? It's only five bucks. And then you'll pick up the box. You'll look at it and you'll be like, hmm, maybe there's a reason this thing's only five bucks. Maybe there's a reason this thing's been sitting on the shelf this long. Put it back. All right? It's like the longer it sits, the more unattractive it becomes. It's like selling a home or trying to sell a car. You know, sometimes you overprice your car or you overprice your home when you try to sell it and it just sits and sits and sits. And even though you start lowering the price, more and more people start to get turned off, even though you're lowering the price. And you could even lower it to below its actual retail value, below market value, and people still won't bite. And the reason why now is because it's been advertised for so long that now people think something's wrong with it. Because they're like, this car has been sitting here for the entire year and nobody has picked it up yet. Something must be wrong. Okay, it's no different with these women who are over 30 who have either voluntarily chose to kick aside all the nice guys waiting for the BBD, the bigger, better deal. Now they're over 30. Now they're still single and now they're damaged goods. And there's always a reason for this, guys. Just like I said, there's a reason why you see these items sitting on the clearance rack and nobody has purchased them. And they've been discounted 50%, 75%, even up to 80, 90%. They're still sitting, why? There's a reason for it, okay? And when it comes to women, generally the reasons are, from what I have found, Okay, as a pickup artist, I've been doing game out there for over two decades now. I still go out four to five times per week. Without fail, the one thing that hasn't changed is the amount of 30, 40, and 50 year olds that are still 
coming out and going to the venues with their girlfriend trying to compete with the 22 year olds okay you just can't you just can't at that age generally what's wrong with most of these girls always comes back to mental health issues psychological issues whether they have BPD which stands for borderline personality disorder bipolar disorder depression daddy issues a lot of times too these girls have therapists that they're seeing psychologists that they're seeing and like I said there's a reason for this okay there's a reason why they're still single over 30 if you're a man of value you do not want to settle for any of these women who are over 30 and still unmarried because you're gonna find out real quick once you put a ring on that girl's finger and you move her into your house and you enter an LTR with her you're gonna find out real quick why no other guy was dumb enough to put a ring on her finger just like if you see that car sitting on the lot for years and they keep discounting it and discounting it nobody's buying it and then finally you come along and you're like all right I've got some money in my pocket I think I'll take this car home and then you take it home and then you find out the things a lemon this car has all sorts of electrical issues okay now you're stuck with it and now you can't turn to sell it nobody wants it because the car is a lemon uh, you do not want to settle with a woman who is over 30 and still single no family no kids never been married you don't want to settle for a woman like that especially a woman who's already been divorced okay if she's divorced and she's still out there if you marry a woman like that the likelihood of her getting divorced again in your marriage is 75 percent because already if you get married there's a 50 percent chance you'll you'll end up in divorce okay that's like flipping a coin but if you marry a woman who's already been divorced previously now you just up the odds to 75 percent <laughs> okay those are not good odds man so for you guys who are still single in your 30s 40s 50s you built up a nice little nest egg for yourself you finally have social status you finally have your finances or in order or even if you're still working on that stuff and you're going somewhere in life you do not want to settle for a woman who is over 30 and is now damaged goods okay you just don't as I always teach my students who are over 30 uh, you never want to date a woman your own age. You always want to date a woman at minimum 10 years younger than you. Okay, at minimum. If you're 30, then five years younger, that's fine. You date a girl who's 25, that's fine. You don't have to date women your own age. You just don't. Okay, there's no reason for that. Don't believe the social narrative out there that is shaming you, being like, oh, what are you try having a midlife crisis? You got to have a young, hot girlfriend. Or, oh, what do you have, a midlife crisis? You got to buy a brand new Corvette Z06? Who do you think you are? You know, some teenager? The Blue Pill Matrix is constantly trying to shame us when we're finally in power and we finally have the ability to get these things. It wants to shame us because it wants to have some sucker there to take care of these uh, much older women over 30 that kicked aside all these nice guys, never got married, never settled down made poor choices had sex with all the bad boys now she's looking for the beta provisioner and society wants that beta provisioner to be you and the way that they get you to become that beta provisioner is by shaming you and being like what are you trying to do date these younger women what are you trying to do buy this brand new corvette z06 who do you think you are don't believe it for a second guys all lies okay all lies if you're finally in power you finally got your finances in order you date those young hot women you go buy that Corvette Z06 Stingray and you go enjoy yourself this is what you do to the social narrative you give them the finger and you go enjoy your life okay they want you to be as miserable as uh, the older women that they're trying to push you on okay do not date women your own age if you're over 30 do not date women your own age Okay, just don't do it. For you guys in your 20s, if you could get these younger, hotter women, go for it. Go do it. But chances are, if you're in your 20s, you'll have a lot of older women, a lot of these cougars wanting to sleep with you, have sex with you, date you, just as a badge of honor. They don't really care about you. It's just more or less like a badge of honor to be like, oh, look, I could still get this young, hot guy. Look at me. Oh, I still got it. When in reality, these ladies fail to realize that none of these guys are going to throw down and... You know put a ring on their finger not a single one never happens okay no guy is that dumb I mean if anything they'll just pump and dump you know they're just gonna use you for sex and a lot of these women over 30 don't mind that they don't seem to mind that like morally they don't care 
I mean, why would they? These are the same girls that kicked aside all of those uh, beta male providers, all those nice guys in their 20s, those high value males they could have had. They kicked them all aside because they wanted to keep having sex with the alphas, the bad boys, the jerks, the dicks. You know, the guys who treated him like shit. They wanted to have sex with those guys, but now they're over 30, they gotta search for the beta male provider and they want that to be you. No, just because you're the same age. You're like, oh, well, we're the same age. We have a lot in common, you know? And I love how a lot of older guys rationalize why they don't want to date a younger woman, a younger woman. They'll be like, no, I need somebody I can relate to. I need someone who's mature, not a little girl, someone who's mature, as if women over 30 are mature. Y you wanna see some of these 30, 40, 50 year old women in my comment section? You wanna see how mature they are? Go look in the comment section. These girls are acting like they're five years old in pigtails, throwing poop like a monkey, dropping all these F-bombs, cursing like a sailor, just being cl totally classless, totally immature, totally juvenile. So don't give me that bullshit that a 22 year old can't be mature. Okay, granted, the majority of younger women, they're just not gonna have that life experience. They're not going to have as deep an understanding of the world and just how things work as you do. Obviously, she hasn't been on the planet long enough. But in the same sense, when these younger women date older men, uh, they are way more open to learning and they will actually let you lead the relationship. Unlike older women, older women, that are still out there, these women are no longer feminine for the most part. Many of these women are just way too masculine. It's like the older they get and the longer they stay single, uh, the more demanding they get, the more controlling they get. They'll like just start buying into more of those feminist ideologies and then she'll expect you to do it too just because you're with her. And then if you don't, she'll shame you for it. They don't like you thinking for yourself they don't like you thinking outside the box. They want you to stay in their little uh, controlled environment where she can control what you think, how you feel, what you say. It's just what happens when you're single for that long, right? You basically become a dude, you know, kind of like an evil dude, like a Marxist evil socialist dude, since most women tend to gravitate towards socialism because they have that natural herd uh, groupthink mentality. Uh, that's what you'll be dealing with when you date older women and this is why I tell you you got to date younger guys when you guys are even as old as your 50s you could still get women in your 20s believe me when I tell you that okay you can still do it remove that mental block remove that social conditioning that previous social conditioning you've gotten your entire life just unplug from all that and see how much power you have as a mature established older man a lot of these girls in their 20s they would love to date a high value guy, even in his 50s. I've seen cases where guys in their 60s have been able to get these girls, okay? I don't see a whole lot of it, but I've seen enough of it to know what's possible, okay? You have to understand what's possible. So the point of this coaching video is don't waste your time with women who are over 30 and are still single and unmarried and are still out there riding the CC. You guys know what the CC means? They're still out there in the bars, the venues, the clubs, just acting ridiculous. You know, what do they call them now, cougars? Yeah, these cougars out there, uh, these former club sluts, party girls, career women, they're bad news, guys. And you know what, if you don't believe me, then be my guest and go date women over 30. And you come back and you tell me what your experience was. Okay, you tell me how that went. Because like I said, a lot of times, these girls are gonna be dealing with uh, some severe psychological issues, whether they be, again, BPD, bipolar issues, uh, depression issues. I don't really see a whole lot of this going on with girls in their 20s, late teens, 20s. I don't see this, a whole lot of mental issues with younger women. I mean, sure, of course I do see it, but it's not nearly as rampant as with women who are still single over 30. There's a reason why these women are still single over 30, okay? She could not hang on to a man. All these women hating my comment section that are still single, the reason why you're hating and you're in my comment section and you're not out there, you know, raising children or taking care of your husband is because you could not hang on to a man. You failed to do it. Mostly because of your attitude, because of that nasty mouth. You didn't know when to shut it. You didn't know how to respect your man. Okay, no man wants to be with a woman who is mouthy, loud, disrespectful, even though 
society is trying to tell you that that is the definition of a strong woman, it's like, wake up, okay, wake up. Those type of women are going to die alone with a dozen cats. So for you guys over 30, like I said, do not date women your own age. Always go younger. You can get these younger women in their 20s. Believe me, you can. Okay, I'm already in my 40s. I get women in their late teens, early 20s all the time. Okay, three of the girls I'm dating right now out of my six girl dating rotation, three of the girls I'm dating right now are all under 25. Okay, you do not need to date women your own age. You don't. So I'm gonna wrap up here. Until next time, this is M. Don't forget to smash that like button below. Also hit that notification bell up top so you are notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video. Also, more importantly guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a ton when you guys actually subscribe to the channel. It tells YouTube you are digging my content, you're feeling me, you want me to produce more content for you, so make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. And for you guys who want to support my work, support my channel, and support everything I'm teaching guys here even further, the best way to do that is to get into my monthly online coaching program, Seven Months to Mastery, where I'm teaching guys just like you how to go out there and approach and close the hottest women on the planet. I'm talking eights, nines, and tens. The same exact type of women that myself and my students are approaching and closing every single week. And I kid you not, we do this every single week. And all of these women, by the way, guys, are under 30 years old. Okay, they're all under 30. Our prime demographic is from 18 to 29. But what myself and my students mostly focus on are those late teens, early 20s. When women are at their peak physical attractiveness, those are the type of women that I approach and that I teach you how to approach. So if you want to support my work and learn how to pick up hot women in the process, jump into seven months of mastery. The first month is only one buck for the entire first month of coaching lessons. So it's only $1, guys. So take advantage of it. Click that link below. It'll take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It only takes two seconds. So do that now and I will see you in my next coaching video. Okay, so you can't even go to the club yet. So they're from Arizona, right? Yep. And you're only gonna be in town till Saturday. Yeah, and, and tonight... we're gonna go with you to that party. Yeah, so tonight's Thursday, so I'm gonna take them to the Ty Lopez party. Yeah. Here, what's your number? What's your number in there? Wait, how do I enter it? Uh, that. Yeah, and I set my last name as party just All right. in case you forget. <laughs> party. Wait, let me add a picture. How do I edit this? Oh. There you go, camera.